Hi Gemini, so I hope you're all doing well in today's reading, what we're looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Yeah, someone with strong fire and water is what is coming through, but back to back Leo here, Queen of Wands, the Sun. Some of you may work, meet through work, this may be a work association, co-worker or something. Some celebration, gathering, Sun, Nine of Cups, where there's drinks, some social setting for some of you. But yeah, who this person is, we have Temperance, Knight of Cups, uh, very chill, relaxed energy, uh, well-rounded, great sense of humor, can be a little bit more shy. I have to say, Gemini, this is the best reading I've done so far, and you're the seventh sign I'm filming. This is beautiful. Really, you know, it's the best reading, but definitely there is some challenges you both will have to work through here as well. But yeah, very romantic who this person is. They likely are into, you know, I don't know, leaving little notes to you, you know, sweet whispering, sweet nothings. Um, very charming. Uh, can be someone who is very flirtatious. It's almost a hopeless romantic. But yeah, they'll be into that kind of like dinner, wine, dine, doing things the right way. Can be someone who's quite traditional here as well. But yeah, they, they'll do whatever it takes to impress you. But yeah, a lot of you, this is a very funny person. And they'll try to woo you by making you laugh here is what I'm getting. Few of you, there may be distance between the both of you here as well. Because Temperance does talk about ninth house. Long distance travel. But also can be higher learning. So it can be some school setting coming through as well. But yeah, chill, relaxed, a little bit shy initially. This person may have a secret crush on you for a while before they actually approach you. How you'll meet, we have Nine of Cups. Again, it seems to be some gathering, social setting, I don't know. But I need more clarity. Clarify the Nine of Cups for how Gemini will meet their person. Whoever is coming towards the boot. Yeah, look at what's wanting to come through. Long journey, travel to a distant place. So it can be online here as well, or while you're traveling for some gathering or something. We have 20. Spirit needs a lift. Uplift, uplifting activities and self-care needed. So it may be around the time when you decide to walk away from a toxic situation. Can even be family members, because how this is laid out, we have family and walking away from a toxic situation with dignity. So yeah, there may be some toxic family, friends, co-workers that you're walking away from or maybe this person is, right? It is a general reading. And the numbers are standing out to me. We have 51 and 15, so that may hold some significance here. Or 6-6, six, six, right? Sixes talk about partnership, harmony, balance. But yeah, you'll definitely be focused on yourself here with the Nine of Cups. It's a self, it's an independent, self-reliant energy, right? I'm not taking that. Let's see anything else they want to give us. How will Gemini meet this person? We have stuck. Again, long journey here with the boat. Number three, can be when you're traveling to some sort of function. Yeah, large gathering. We have concert, wedding, conference. So you may be traveling. And we have stuck. Sometimes all you can do is wait. Yeah, some of you may have been waiting for a while or you may have felt that things are stagnant when it comes to your love life. But if you have been struggling, I'm feeling both of you are or will be around the time you meet. Your spirit guides are trying to lift you up here. You do have support around you. The higher power, the universe has your back. That is what I'm getting, right? You're protected. Okay, your thoughts about this energy. We have three of wands, ten of pentacles. Some of you, this definitely can be online because Three of Wands is sort of when we're looking out into the horizon, right? Waiting for our ships to come in. It can be a message, you know, back and forth messaging, but feeling very optimistic, hopeful when it comes to your love life here. So around the time you meet this person, if you don't already know them, right, you'll be very excited. It's almost that spark, right, in your eyes. And you do see something long term here right away, Ten of Pentacles. If it's not, you know, Oh, this is the person I will marry. Um, it can just be, I feel very safe, comfortable um, in your presence. I want to get to know you better. I want to spend more time with you, right? Quality time is coming through. Some of you may have to travel, right? To get together here in the first place. 
But again, there's a lot of reference to travel coming through here. It can be some family function, a wedding celebration. I, I'm actually curious here. I want to pull out this homemade deck for you and see if I can get you anything else for those of you that don't know this person. Traveling for leisure. Seriously, we don't make that up. July 222 may be significant. You may be seeing that number sequence. How what is Gemini likely to meet this person? Secret work affair. Um, some, yeah, I picked up a little bit about work here. So traveling for leisure, we have work. Some Someone may hear, someone may hear. <laughs> oh, don't you love my English? Someone here may be uh, traveling for work, which is why it may start off as friends first. They'll be very attractive, exactly your type. He or she may be older than you. And we have long distance here. Long distance, hey? We had that three times. Gemini. Yeah, you will be co-workers. Really depends. Traveling for leisure, online, work. That is what is coming through. This person's intentions toward you is so beautiful, Gemini. You have no idea. Uh, Four of Wands, King of Cups. This person's intentions towards you. It's true love here, Gemini. They're wanting to offer you their undivided attention, their support. They want to be there for you. And they will be very supportive, affectionate. And Four of Wands talks about celebration, getting together, um, sometimes moving in together, commitment, right? This person is likely dating for marriage or stability. They don't like to date just for the sake of it, you know? So they will want to move things to the next level. Um, they will take their time opening up to you. I'm not saying that you'll meet and you'll instantly, you know, uh, wedding vows here. No, that's not what I'm getting, but there's a lot of potential here and sort of an inner knowing and that you both are very special uh, for one another pretty early on is what I'm getting. And that is if you're listening to your intuition, right? If you're in denial, it may take a while. How this person's approaching you, King of Wands, they'll let their interest be known. It's more passionate, physical initially, perhaps flirting with you. But King of Wands is normally our pursuer. This energy is, it's weird. They're, they're a little bit shy with the Knight of Cups, but they're also someone who's very confident and bold. So there may be a little bit, you know, sometimes this person gives off mixed signals. Um, sometimes they're quiet. Other days they may be really in your face, really sending you a lot of messages, blowing up your phone. And, yeah, there's a lot going on with this person, and I'll tell you why. Why they're giving you mixed signals, but yeah, it can be hot and cold here. But for the most part, it's pretty consistent because they are coming through as two kings back to back. So yeah, it is a mature, a wise energy headed your way. But yeah, a little strong flirtation, and they'll be wanting to make plans, um, get going, move around with you, do things with you, spend time with you, right? That is what I'm getting. How they'll be feeling about you, we have Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. Now this is where the issue comes in. This person can be a overthinker <laughs> um, with Ten of Swords. So it's almost they're being pulled in two different directions when it comes to you. Mind, Their mind is saying, you know, head in this direction. Their heart is with you. So that will be something that is sort of, they feel torn when it comes to you. I'm not sure what the exact details of this situation will be, but it's almost their mind is pulling you pulling them away from you. So logically, it may not make the most sense to be with you, but then their heart wants you. And it can be because distance, perhaps one or both of you have to make sacrifices to be with the other, or it's just, there's a lot in the way of you two coming together initially. And that may have this person doubt, feeling a bit doubtful here when it comes to this connection. And this person is a little bit shy here. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Interesting. But I think they will muster up that courage with King of Wands for how they're approaching you, right? They will be able to overcome their insecurities. I apologize for any sound you're hearing. This mic picks up on everything. For your feelings, <laughs> we have Devil, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Oh, some of you are overthinkers, obsessing as well, right? So there's some insecurities coming through, which is why they're saying Page of Pentacles, work in progress, perhaps self-development, self-help books, 
um, will be helpful. Others of you could be very concerned about uh, your finances, your career, because we do have all earth coming through, right, in your feelings. So that may be something that you're worried about or just bringing out your worst fears here. It's a bit triggering for you, Gemini, is what I'm getting. Perhaps how slow things are moving between the both of you or if there's distance, you may be missing one another, right? Um, and this person being a bit indecisive can also be bringing out the worst in you here as well, right? It's sort of friend out of friendship here with the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, this will take its time. Your outcome is beautiful, very promising. We have Fool, Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so one or both of you may be a little bit hesitant or resistant to change, but you will have to take that leap into the unknown and really trust each other, right? But yeah, it's not overnight. Seven of Pentacles is divine timing. It's also patience. So the more time, energy you spend with each other, um, things will move forward, Wheel of Fortune. And this is a very fortunate uh, union. It has potential. For your oracles, Gemini, we have back and forth. Yeah, definitely can be mutual energy, but I'm definitely getting this person's on and off relationship. Back and forth between partners can't make a decision. Yeah, being torn between their head and heart. I'm not necessarily seeing other people. I don't have strong indications of that. We have the heart leads, but their heart will win and their heart lies with you. King of Cups, Page of Cups following their heart, choosing to be happy, no longer hiding their feelings. So that may be something here as well, right? With that shyness I was speaking of on, maybe there's just, I don't know, there's some fears getting in the way, fear of rejection, fear that they're not good enough, fear of making the wrong decision. Are you too compatible, right? For You know, it can be a variety of things, but yeah, they'll choose to follow their heart and their heart is leading them in your direction here, which is beautiful. I love this. And we have true love, how exciting. You're, I think you're yeah, maybe the second sign to get this. We have experiencing wholeness, unconditional love, long lasting bond. Yeah, seven of pentacles. The more time, energy you spend, um, you know, with one another in this connection. Seriously, this is blessed. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. You're both bringing a lot of luck to one another. A lot of changes, forward movement, but Definitely, it's blessed with two major arcana. It feels like it's faded here as well. But we also have timing, bad timing, waiting for the right time, patience is needed. I think I covered that, but something may be going on um, in your guys' life around the time you meet, which, which is why bad timing, because you're both healing, or one of you is with spirit needs a lift, can have something to do with cell, uh, health here as well. And others of you, bad time and distance. Circumstances. We have old school. Old fashioned thinking takes dating seriously, takes things slow. Again, reference to time, right? We had waiting for the right time. Patience is needed and takes things slow. So if one of you is more impatient, that may be a bit difficult, right? Sort of go with the flow and surrender. But yeah, this person takes dating seriously. And interesting, I want to point out to you, bottom deck energy, we actually have engagement, commitment, promises, making it official marriage in your future. So if that is something you're wanting, that is what you're attracting. Anything else you can tell me about this energy that is coming towards Gemini? Yeah, wasn't I telling you fears? Will you reject me if I fail? Fear of rejection. I already have a mother, so please don't tell me what to do. Perhaps this person comes from a very restrictive background, overbearing parents, mother, and that is why they have a fear of being controlled or told what to do. King of Wands doesn't like to be told what to do. It's a very um, strong energy, right? Are you impressed with the things I have or me? A lot of questions. Will you reject me? Are you impressed with the things I have or me? This person does seem to be well off. They're wealthy is what I'm getting. So they may be scared of being taken advantage of for what they have. So that is where the doubts are coming in as well. Or it can just be, you know, why does this person want to be with me? They're better than me. I don't know, something along those lines is coming through. Let's get one card from this love. That was fast. Enjoy the romance. Romance is the glamour which turns the dust of everyday life into a golden haze. 
Wow. Yeah, so very playful, romantic connection, and there is a physical attraction, but more so just true love. Some of you, this may be your first kiss, or your first kiss with this person will be very memorable or something. We have the best feeling in the world is kissing someone for the first time when you've really wanted to kiss them for a long time. Uh, some some of you, it may be a while before your um, physical here as well is coming through, so really testing your patience when it comes to that as well. So when it does happen, it will be, you'll just value that time is what I'm seeing. really positive energy but you both do have some work to do so if you haven't met this person they're wanting you to take that time and heal some insecurities coming through here in your energy someone new yeah a lot of you you don't know this person we don't have a history but we do have a future how beautiful you may have a hard time re wow can does it Look, well to do, you can depend on me. I'm financially stable and grounded. Kiss, I want to kiss you in a way that shows you just how bad I want you. And we have to get the first kiss, uh -huh. And we have in their head. I can't quiet the noise in my head. Poker face, I don't want to reveal how I truly feel. So yeah, you'll, you'll have fun getting to know this person, but they do seem to be someone new, which is beautiful for a change. Let's get this deck characteristics fire moon i was seeing a lot of fire in their energy so they may have aries leo sag moon right who is this person attractive they're very physically attractive and likely conventionally other people find them desirable as well who is this person coming towards gemini in love 2022 who is this person coming towards gemini in love Gloomy, yeah, they can be a bit moody with all that water coming through for sure. And they always, it's always overthinking. Religious. Interesting because we have that prayer that pulls, right? So this person likely is. And interesting actually, temperance, ninth house, right? I was talking about school, also rules the religion. So likely, definitely. Higher, they believe in a higher power. They can be religious, someone who prays. They've been praying for you. You're like a dream come true. Hygienic. They're very clean, tidy. Their self-care was wanting to come through. Right? Yeah. Uplifting activities and self-care needed. So they're taking better care of themselves. They're at a distance for some of you. They can be spontaneous, cheerful. Yeah, that's that fire energy. <laughs> and argumentative. Yeah, this person's not one to back down from an argument. They can be a fixed sign. We have Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. They're very uh, focused on their health right now. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. I was getting Leo strongly. Um, but yeah, with water, we could have Scorpio here as well, somewhere in their chart. So these may be some prominent signs, right? And they're big three. So fire or water, sun, moon, rising. Specifically, Leo and Scorpio. But it, that's difficult to predict in personal readings, but also, wait, that's impossible in a general reading, right? Just doing it for fun. It's more the energy. But yeah, there'll be a lot of fun to be around once they feel comfortable around you. They'll be cracking jokes. You'll really like their sense of humor. Cheerful. Big smile on their face. They may have a scar here, Gemini. Who is this energy coming towards Gemini in love 2022? K, so first, middle, or last name. You'll really like their voice. Soothing voice. They just sound like a nice person, really is what I'm getting. We have F, F and K, V. Yeah, cologne, perfume, scent. You may really like the way this person, their scent. We have independent. They're chill. They're okay on their own, which is nice, right? This is not someone who will be dependent on you in any way. They have their own life, Gemini. We have fashionable. Interesting. So you may like their fashion sense here as well, the way they dress. 
and we had hygienic right just you know this person has it together when it comes to their physical appearance and we have athletic and we have affectionate which goes well with that king of cups right who is this person coming towards gemini another energy i'm getting from them interesting we have scars and we have markings so some sort of marking on their face um this is someone who when you first meet them big smile very cheerful but say they have a sag ascendant right sort of outgoing really out there great sense of humor extroverted but that's their ascendant so once you get to know them maybe a water sign someone who's more reserved shy so that may be surprising to you once you really get to know them this king of wands is a bold energy paired with temperance right but when we go to their feelings it's a very reserved energy so that makes sense a lot of you this can be yeah i don't think they're a fire sun a lot of you i'm getting ascendant or moon fire who is this person coarse curly hair interesting we have it's almost like dreads here and then we have that coarse curly hair there red lips something about their lips you may be attracted to maybe nice full lips i'm not sure or they may like your lips black or african-american with coarse curly hair can be we have skinny we had skinny and athletic who is this person coming towards gemini in love 2022 black hair black clothing black may be a significant color they may be wearing black when you see them for the first time or just darker features we have tribal and we also have tall wanting to come through mole stop we have blonde practitioner maybe doing something um, that they have a lot of knowledge about so you may be impressed by their accomplishments or something we have tattoo and piercings yeah so likely they have some sort of tattoo piercings practitioner something about the color black and red and definitely curly hair coming through again some of these physical uh, features can be yours as well, right? It's a general reading. So just take what resonates. And take that. Good luck. <laughs> luck is on your side. Everything you touch will turn into gold and masterpieces. Yeah, it's a very lucky favorable period when it comes to your love life. But wasn't I saying this is a blessed union with Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter? That's our planet of blessings. Good luck. So yeah, it's almost like you're bringing a lot of luck to one another. Perhaps even uh, financial success, I don't know. Or just opening up doors, nostalgia. Take time to heal and let go of the past so you may embrace this new phase in your life and take that leap forward, fool. There's a lot of hesitation on both ends and I was telling you, work in progress. So if you haven't met them, do that work now, right? You'll thank yourself for it after. We have curiosity. Reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. So they're saying chill out. Enjoy yourself. I'll take this because this is the third time this wanted to come through. Closure. Sometimes the only closure you need is understanding that your soul deserves peace. Yeah. If Some of you may have been dealing with a toxic situation with devil where you felt rejected or left out in the cold. Um, or there may be a situation you're feeling stuck in. Right? Sometimes all you can do is wait. Family, friends, school, work, I don't know what your situation is, but perhaps it had you very much in your head, like in a mental prison, and you deserve peace. And I think this relationship will be very peaceful and comforting with the Seven of Pentacles. This, this person that's coming towards you is very chill, laid back here as well. wait and see they're saying 
thoughts love to wander into assumptions and race ahead to the future. But what if you told them to cool their jets and chill a sec? Today you get to put your mental chatter on pause, to take a breath and simply wait and see how things play out before you let your mind run a marathon of imagined scenarios. So there can be a tendency to play out worst case scenarios, right? Wait, and you'll see that waiting and seeing was a lot more productive than wondering and worrying. Yeah, they're wanting you to let go, easier said than done, wanting you to relax and go with the flow. And meanwhile, self-care needed, right? But yes, Gemini, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.